Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. I hope you all must be doing good. So today I will show how to flash MIUI 13 Android 12 ported ROM on Redmi Note 9 as the global variant and you can also flash this custom ROM on Redmi Note 9 Pro the India variant having 48 megapixel camera. Yes, basically this ported ROM is actually Android 12. So you can update your set from MIUI 12.5 to MIUI 13 and from Android 11 to Android 12. Well, this is a ported ROM and a custom ROM. So it may have a small bug. Well, I would say sometimes we get bugs in stock ROM also. Anyway, if you want to use, if you are a flashaholic like me, you can flash, give a try, flash this ROM, check the ROM. And if you want to go back, you can uh, store, you can flash the stock ROM anytime back on the Redmi Note 9 S or Redmi Note 9 Pro, the India variant. I will also up, uh, upload a video how to go back from custom ROM to uh, the stock ROM on Redmi Note 9 Pro or Redmi Note 9 S. So starting the procedure, but before I would say if you are new on my channel, if you find my videos are very helpful, then just consider to subscribe my channel, click or tap the red color subscribe button, then click or tap the YouTube bell icon and select all. Thank you for doing that. So first thing first is to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone. Whenever you want to flash a custom ROM, you need to unlock the bootloader first then you can flash the custom ROM and the bootloader will remain unlocked until you are using a custom ROM. The bootloader can be relocked after flashing the stock ROM. So if you have unlocked the bootloader, you can follow the step. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I will provide the link in my video description. Watch that tutorial video and unlock the bootloader and then follow the further steps. And the most important thing is to save all the internal storage data. This procedure will wash everything. So better to save the data and check the battery should be charged to minimum like 50 to 60 percent. And then go to settings. If you are using a lock screen password, go to password security. Turn off the screen lock. Must turn, or turn it off. Then come back. And if you are using me account, then sync your me account once and then remove it. Then go back, go to account sync, sync your Google account once and then remove it. I would like to show the about phone of my mobile phone. Currently, my mobile phone is having the 12.5.1, the global stable uh, so, uh, re stock region ROM on my Redmi Note 9S and the Android version you can see Android 11. Doesn't matter if you are uh, having a 12.5.0, 12.5.1, 12.5.2. Doesn't matter the ROM will get flash but you must have 12.5 and you must have the Android version 11. I hope you got my point. Now you can simply power of the mobile phone and we need a data cable plus computer for this procedure moving towards my computer screen now so this is my downloaded folder and if you haven't uh, installed any drivers of your xiaomi mobile phone then i would prefer to download me flash 2017 and after when you have downloaded then extract it first and open the extracted folder first install the me flash on your uh, windows so when after booting the mobile phone into fast boot mode the drivers will automatically get installed we don't need this software for further use just to install the drivers right go back and this is the miui 13 ported rom from xiaomi china variant version you can see and this uh, uh, version was released in January 2nd, 2022. Hopefully, the third version will get released soon. You can flash this MIUI 13 ROM on Redmi Note 9 S and as well uh, on Redmi Note 9 Pro India variant. After downloading the MIUI 13 ROM, obviously, I have provided the link in my video description. Simply make a new folder and download the ROM. Then, 
after downloading it, extract it first in same folder, right? After extracting the ROM file, open the extracted ROM folder and here you will see a bunch of files. Now, coming back towards my mobile phone. Mobile phone must be power off. We need to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode. For that, hold the mobile phone in your left hand and then press and hold the volume down key. Connect the cable. This other side of this cable must be connected with computer. Press and hold the volume down key. Connect the cable with mobile phone. Just in a few seconds, the set will boot into fast boot mode. Release the volume down key immediately. Right. Now come back to the computer screen and simply double click this file. Katana Flasher Windows Force Vibe dot BAT. Double click on it and the procedure will get start. It will take a time. Just uh, wait and check the mobile phone, check your computer screen. The procedure will go on and it will take a time. Wait for it. Let the procedure complete. Then we will continue. The mobile phone will get automatically restart and will start booting into MIUI 13, Android 12 ROM. And you can press any key on this command window to close the command window. We are done from the computer. Now disconnect the cable from mobile phone and wait for the first boot. It will take a little bit time. First boot complete and uh, you will be happy to see the MIUI 13 welcome screen on your Redmi Note 9S or the Redmi Note 9 Pro India variant. Complete the setup screen now. So finally MIUI 13 ported ROM flashed properly on my Redmi Note 9S. If I go to settings of my mobile phone and if I tap on my device here, you will see MIUI 13 version, beta version. Of course, it is a beta version ported from the Xiaomi China variant for Redmi Note 9S. And if I tap on all specification here, you will see my set is updated from Android 11 to Android version 12 and MIUI 13. And definitely you will see the beast band version, the number signs. Well, the ROM is flashed properly. And one more thing we have to do according to the developer right away after flashing this ROM on your mobile phone, then go to settings, tap battery and you will see the blue cursor on balance. So the ROM must be on high performance just simple bring this blue sign to performance that is what we have to do right away after flashing the ROM well I got the ROM flash on my Redmi Note 9s hopefully if you follow the steps you will get the ROM flash also on your Redmi Note 9s or the Redmi Note 9 Pro India variant use the ROM and if you want to go back to stock ROM I will definitely and soon I will upload the video of tutorial how to how to flash stock ROM back on the Redmi Note 9 Pro India variant or Redmi Note 9 S global variant. Right. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video is helpful, then do not forget to like the video. Also subscribe my channel. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.